The Wright brothers way back in 1903 flew their first airplane and it was considered as being a successful project. So in today's video we're gonna talk about, we're gonna discuss how an airplane was invented by the Wright brothers. We're gonna know the brief history behind the invention of a, an airplane. It's your boy AJ Scholars back once again with another video. Please if you're new here be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for being loyal. Thank you for always standing, coming back to my YouTube channel to watch my videos. So we're going to talk about how an airplane was invented. An airplane or airplane is a fixed wing aircraft that is propelled forward by the thrust of a jet engine, propeller or rocket engine. Airplanes come in a variety of sizes, shapes and wing configurations. The broad spectrum of uses for airplanes includes recreation, transportation of goods and people, military and research. Worldwide commercial aviation transports more than 4 billion passengers annually on airliners and transports more than 200 billion ton kilometers of cargo annually, which is less than 1% of world's cargo movement. Most airlines are flown by a pilot on board the aircraft but some are designed to be remotely or computer controlled such as drones. The Wright brothers invented and flew the first airplane in 1903, recognized as the first sustained and controlled heavier than air powered flight. They built on works of George Cayley dating from 1799 when he set forth the concept of the modern airplane between 1867 and 1896. The German pioneer of human aviation Otto also studied heavier than air flight. Following its limited use in World War I, aircraft technology continued to develop. Airplanes had a presence in all the major battles of World War II. The first jet aircraft was the German Heinekel in 1939. The first jet airliner, the Du Havel and Comet was introduced in 1952. The Boeing 707, the first wildly successful commercial jet, was in commercial service for more than 50 years, from 1858 to at least 2013. Many stories from antiquity involve flight, such as the Greek legend of Icarus and the Atlas, and the Vimana in ancient Indian epics. Around 400 BC in Greece, Akites was reputed to have designed and built the first artificial, self-propelled flying device. A bird-shaped model propelled by a jet of what was probably steam, said to have flown some 200 meters. This machine may have been suspended for its flight. Some of the earliest record attempts with gladiators were those by the 9th century Andalusian and Arabic language poet Abbas and the 11th century English monk Elmer of Malmesbury. Both experiments injured their pilots. Leonardo da Vinci researched the wing design of birds and designed a man-powered aircraft in his codex on the flight, noting for the first time the distinction between the center of mass and the center of pressure of flying birds. In 1799, George set forth the concept of the modern airplane as a fixed-wing flying machine with separate systems for lift, propulsion, and control. George was building and flying models of a fixed-wing craft as early as 1803, and he built a successful passenger-carrying leader in 1853. In 1856, Frenchman Jean-Marie made the first powered flight by having his glider Albatos Artificiel pulled by a horse on a beach. Then the Russian Alexander also made some innovative designs. In 1883, the American John made a controlled flight in a glider. And Sahil and Maxim built a craft that weighed over 3.5 tons with a 34 meter wingspan that was powered by two 360 horsepower steam engines driving two propellers. In 1894, his machine was tested with overhead rails to prevent it from rising. The test showed that it had enough lift to take off. The craft was uncontrollable, which Maxim, it is presumed, realized because he subsequently abandoned work on it. In the 1890s, Lawrence Hargrave conducted research on wing structures and developed a box kite that lifted the weight of a man. His box kite designs were widely adopted. 
Although he also developed a type of military aircraft engine, he did not create and fly a powered fixed-wing aircraft. Between 1867 and 1896, the German pioneer of human aviation Otto developed heavier than air flight. He was the first person to make a well-documented, repeated, successfully gliding the flight. To to the the Frenchman now, Clement also constructed his first of craft. three flying machines in so 1886. It was a bat-like design run by a lightweight jet. steam engine with of his own invention, with four cylinders developing 20 pa flight. horsepower, driving a four-blade propeller. The engine weighed no more than four kilograms per kilowatt. The wings had a span of 14 meters, all up weight was 300 kilograms. And on October 9, 1890, Clement attempted to fly his flying machine. Aviation historians give credit to his effort as a powered takeoff and uncontrollable hoop of approximately 50 meters at a height of approximately 200 millimeters. Clement's two subsequent machines were not documented to have the achieved flight. The American Wright brothers' flights in 1903 are recognized by the Federation of Aeronautics the International, the standard setting and record keeping body for aeronautics, as the first sustained and controlled avian and air powered flight. By 1905, the Wright Flyer was capable of fully controllable, stable flight for substantial periods. The Wright brothers credited Otto as a major inspiration for their decisions to pursue manned flight. And in 1906, the Brazilian Alberto Santos made what was claimed to be the first airplane flight, unassisted by a catapult, and set the first world record recognized by the Aero Club de France by flying 220 meters in less than 22 seconds. This flight was also certified by the FIA. Thank you guys for watching. It has been your boy AJ Scholars here discussing how the air 